Hello nature enthusiasts, welcome back to Zoologist, where we dive deep into the wonders of the natural world. Today we're zooming in on one of the most fascinating and mysterious creatures in the insect kingdom, the praying mantis. Known for their iconic posture that looks like they're deep in prayer, praying mantises are not just unique in appearance but are also remarkable hunters. These insects have intrigued people for centuries, not only because of their alien-like features but also due to their incredible hunting skills. But what exactly does a praying mantis feast on? Is it just pesky flies, or is there more to their diet? Join me as we explore, what do praying mantises eat? Understand their hunting tactics, and what to feed them, if you plan to keep them as pets. So, grab your magnifying glass, and let's get a closer look at what's on the dining table for the praying mantis. When it comes to diet, praying mantises have a palate that might surprise you. These insects are not picky eaters, and their choice of food can be quite diverse depending on their size, species, and where they live. Generally, the diet of a praying mantis includes a variety of insects. From flies to moths, crickets to beetles, these critters are the go-to meals for mantises. But that's not all. Depending on their size and the opportunity at hand, some mantises have been known to expand their menu to include other surprising items. What a mantis eats can also depend heavily on its geographic location and specific species. For example, the larger species found in tropical regions might snack on small frogs and birds, whereas their smaller cousins in temperate zones stick to insects. So, how do these impressive predators decide what to catch? Well, it's all about opportunity and necessity. The common prey, like insects, provide plenty of nourishment and are abundant in many environments. These include flies buzzing around your garden, moths fluttering by a light at night, or beetles crawling through the underbrush. On the rarer side, some large mantises will go for small vertebrates. Yes, we're talking frogs, lizards, and even birds. These meals are more common when the mantis is larger and the smaller prey isn't enough to fill their appetite. The selection of prey isn't just about what's on the menu, but also what's possible to catch. Factors like the size of the prey relative to the mantis, the prey's movement, and how readily available it is all play critical roles. A quick moving insect might escape a slow strike, and a large, abundant prey could provide an easy feast. Now, let's delve into the art of the hunt. Praying mantises are masters of disguise and patience, turning hunting into a craft that's as cunning as it is deadly. The key tactics in a mantis's hunting arsenal are camouflage, stillness, and the lightning-fast strike. These predators expertly blend into their surroundings, mimicking leaves and sticks, waiting motionlessly for the perfect moment to strike. But how do they know when to strike? Vision and sensory perception play crucial roles here. Mantises have five eyes, two large compound eyes and three simpler eyes between them. The compound eyes are incredibly adept at detecting movement, even from a distance, the iconic praying stance isn't just for show. It positions their formidable front limbs for a swift, sudden grab. This stance, combined with their excellent depth perception, allows mantises to precisely gauge the distance and speed of their target, ensuring their attacks are both swift and successful. Once the prey is caught, the real action begins. Praying mantises consume their meals with a method that's as efficient as their hunting technique. They use their strong, sharp mandibles to tear their catch apart, the mandibles are not just for biting, they are precision tools that cut and grind the prey. Meanwhile, their spiked forearms, which played a key part in the capture, now help hold the prey securely in place. This lethal combination of stealth, precision and power makes the praying mantis one of the most formidable predators in the insect world. It's truly a spectacle of nature's ingenuity at work. Understanding the life cycle of a praying mantis not only brings us closer to nature's wonders, but also reveals how their diet evolves as they grow. Let's dive into these changes and see how each stage impacts their overall development. From the moment they hatch, praying mantises are on the hunt. As nymphs, they start by eating small insects like fruit flies and aphids. These early meals are crucial, providing the energy needed for rapid growth. As they mature, their appetite increases, and so does the size of their prey. Adult mantises will tackle larger insects and even branch out to those small vertebrates we talked about earlier. 
Now, for those of you considering a praying mantis as a pet, you're in for a unique journey. Taking care of their diet is crucial, not just for their survival but for their health and vitality. For pet mantises, you can start nymphs on small insects like fruit flies and gradually increase the prey size as they grow. Adults can eat a variety of larger insects, such as crickets and mealworms. It's important to provide a diet that mimics what they would find in the wild as closely as possible. Caring for a mantis's diet involves more than just feeding them the right insects at the right time. It's about ensuring those insects are healthy too, which means occasionally feeding your feeder insects a nutritious diet before offering them to your mantis. Remember, keeping a praying mantis healthy and happy is all about balance and care. With the right approach, your little predator can thrive, giving you a front row seat to one of nature's most impressive hunters. While we've explored the real world diet and behavior of praying mantises, let's take a moment to delve into some interesting facts and unexpected truths. Mantises display behaviors that might seem just as otherworldly. For instance, some species engage in elaborate mating dances, which can be a mesmerizing sight. Others have a unique defense mechanism where they spread their wings to display eye-like patterns, scaring off potential predators. And let's not forget, the female's notorious reputation for occasionally eating her mate during or after mating. While this might sound like a horror story, it's a rare example of extreme survival strategy in the insect world. What's the most fascinating thing you've learned today about praying mantises? Or maybe you have a story or question about these or other remarkable creatures? Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I love reading them and promise to reply to as many as I can. If you enjoyed our journey into the world of praying mantises, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to keep up with all our latest videos. Here on Zoologist, we're always on the lookout for the next amazing creature to explore together. Until next time, keep your eyes open and your curiosity wild.